Well, there you have it, YouTubers. Probably the worst football I've seen in 30 years. And that's what I grew up on. Kentucky scoring three to ten points and then nothing the rest of the game uh, and getting beat. I don't know what Stoops is going to come up with during the press conference. Uh, it's embarrassing. Uh, the quarterback has absolutely killed this team with the help of the offensive coordinator. And uh, whoever's running things over there, they're not utilizing Kentucky's players of the talent. Uh, the only thing Kentucky, uh, they really need to do a fire sale, keep the defensive coordinator in that, that side of the ball, special teams, but everybody else needs to go. There's some chatter about Stoops talking about, I'm pretty sure he's put in for Florida State University and Iowa. Uh, Florida was a bust. Uh, I just, you know, any decent quarterback would have picked, would have won this game tonight for Kentucky. And uh, I don't care that we are riddled with injuries, depleted. Uh, that was not a good Auburn team. So that means we're really bad. All right. Uh, they had two wins. We had three. Now we're tied. So Kentucky's the worst team in the SEC. Uh, we only have Murray State left on the schedule. I think we got a shot of winning. Uh, Tennessee be wearing their Halloween uniforms and they'll beat us by ever how many points they want to beat us. So whatever the point spread is on that, uh, it won't be enough. And uh, I'm going to take the over because Nico's good enough to just throw and run on us all game. Uh we might actually get shut out that game. I think uh, I think Kentucky is going to be CPR for Tennessee's offense. I think it's going to get it's going to get rolling after they beat Kentucky. They're going to score a lot and uh, they're going to find their rhythm on offense. I'm pretty sure. And see, Alabama looked good enough. See, that's Alabama. We all thought we was. You know, they they didn't look like the Alabama has in the last several weeks. Uh, you know, Missouri came in and kind of gave their offense and their, their team some CPR and brought them back to life. That's basically what Kentucky's fixing to do here. Uh, we're going to uh, – whatever offensive struggles Tennessee has had, they're not going to have that against us. Uh I could probably throw in our secondary. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, our quarterback's horrible. Uh, I could see three, three, three or four interceptions, a couple pick sixes, and a bunch of fumbles by Brock against Tennessee. Uh, he's not going to be prepared. He's going to have full blown panic attacks from the crowd noise. Uh, He's, he's ever bit the worst quarterback in the SEC. Uh, you need to just start Gavin. I mean, what do you got to lose? And I know Gavin threw a, an interception there. He drove us the length of the field, and uh, they caused some idiotic pass play there on the two-yard line. <laughs> you know, throw it at the flat. Just... You know, the guy undercut it. It's just terrible, terrible offensive coordinator. He needs to go immediately. Uh, and, you know, they gave him a contract. Right? They really can't afford to get rid of him. Uh, I would pay that. Whatever it is, it's worth letting him go. Uh, 76 wins, eight straight ball games. It's time for Stoops to move on. He's done all he can do at Kentucky. Uh, he's going to leave it the same way he found it, it looks like. Uh, 
it's just embarrassing. I mean, there's really no other way around it. Uh, we're not a good football team in any any area other than defense, and it's it ain't real great right now. We're just beat up there, but uh, you got to have an offense to go along with the defense. We just don't have it, and uh, our defense can't win us every game. You know, you really rely on your defense to win you a few games throughout the year. And keep you in games, but I mean, you know, they've they've really asked our defense to do mo- way way too much. Uh, hats off to Brad White. You know, you've absolutely done the best you possibly could. Uh, I had this game at thirty four to twenty, twenty four ten. It's the same thing, just minus, which makes more sense really, because <laughs> ain't neither team really good. Uh, but the morning after pill is really going to be tough to swallow tomorrow. So uh, I'm going to get off here and go in there and listen to what students had to say in this press conference. Uh, he's keeping the losing streak at Kentucky, uh, Kroger Field alive. Congratulations on doing that. Uh, and this, this is literally probably the worst I've seen in 30 years. I know in 84 or 85, Kentucky was pretty good. Uh, we weren't real bad during the Tim Couch era. We had the air raid. Uh, Rich Brooks, we got him from Oregon. That really, really helped Kentucky's program a lot. But when we got Stoops, you know, he, he did really good. But he turned out to be the same in basketball that, or in football that we were in basketball. The last five years has just been... Terrible. Uh, Calipari probably has success where he's at for a few years. Uh, I imagine Stoops gets to FSU or Iowa. He'll have some success up there, but he just he needs a different. He needs a change as much as we need a change. Uh, we took a swing and a miss on a quarterback, and we took a big giant swing on a offensive coordinator and it did not pan out and you let Shannon get away from you in 2015 and we've paid for it ever since uh, and he looks like he's doing a really good job as offensive coordinator at Miami Hurricanes and that has been our biggest problem that we had uh Since Stoops has been there, has been offense. And think about this for a minute. Eddie Grant has been our best offensive coordinator. <laughs> and uh, we just lost games that we, you know, we shouldn't have. And, uh, but this year has been exceptionally hard. With the talent, uh, the way they're using it, uh, the injuries, uh, you know, the play calling, it's just been uh, less typical Kentucky football for me when I was growing up. So a lot of a lot of Kentucky fans on my channel or whatever are only used to the Stoops era. All right. Trust me, it, it was two win, two to four win seasons every year. You just mark it down, book it. Uh, until we got Rich Brooks. Uh, how mummy, uh, you know, we had a few coordinators there that, that were terrible. Curry, Joker Phillips, uh, I don't know. But when we got Stoops, he turned it around and, uh, he's done all he can do. At this point, he should move, he should want to move on because it's, it ought to be embarrassing for him. To stand out there with that product and then play and use that product in the manner in which you are. Uh, so I imagine he's going to be kind of like John Calipari, just wanting, wanting a fresh start. Uh, look back, and you, you know, John Calipari had a good run. National championship. Uh, a bunch of wins 
and uh, it just got bad over the last five years. And he moved on. He, he looks happier now that he finally got got settled in there at Arkansas. And I'm sure Stoops do the same thing. So, but I'm Big Barney Ross. Uh, Twenty-four to ten, final score. Uh, Kentucky's the worst team in the SEC this year. Uh, and. We'll just have to wait and see how it plays out, but unless they do something drastic, uh, the only game we we have a shot of winning left on the schedule is probably Murray State, and then uh, we should finish out four and four wins, and then we try to recruit and do what we can for next year. But uh, if you run that offensive coordinator. And you go with the game. Uh, I can't believe Brad White doesn't want to leave. <laughs> you know, which he's making a lot of money here. And he likes it here. Uh, but he, uh, if somebody offered him, you know, he'd probably think about it. And I hope they don't. Uh, he's been really good for Kentucky and our football team. But it is way past time. When you combine a terrible quarterback... We took a swing and a miss on this guy. This guy's not even a starter at the junior level, uh, a junior college. This guy's like a second or third string at the JUCO. I mean, just terrible. Ball placement, arm strength, uh, can't throw it on the run. Can't read the defense to save his life. Uh, then you compound a bad quarterback with terrible play calling, it's just a recipe for disaster. And I watched Stoops on the sideline. He he called some of that garbage tonight. Uh, so, he ought to, I don't know. I don't know what we do from here, but uh, the only way I could see out of this nightmare Try to keep our defensive coordinator, special teams coordinator, and their staff. Get rid of the offensive coordinator, uh, the head football coach. Uh, Eric Walford wouldn't be bad. He'd probably keep him for the offensive line. Give him a chance to rebuild the big blue wall. Uh, get some get a quarterback out of the portal that's not going to constitute uh, this epic failure. Go out and get you a good offensive coordinator. Eddie Grant has been our best. It's just a head scratcher. So, uh, we need some internal, external Changes. We need to get. We need new athletic director. We need a whole bunch of new stuff uh, to take place, in Kentucky, to be uh, to be back in there. And I know a lot of people tease Kentucky. Well, you're just a basketball school. Why do you even care? That's. I'm telling you, this state likes football too. All right. Uh, we've just been bad at it for a, a little while, but you know we had a good run under Stoops. Uh, but it's clearly coming to an end in epic fashion. In Kentucky fashion, this thing is coming to an end. So, um, I'm gonna get off here. Go have me. Uh, I don't. I don't even know what I'm gonna have. <laughs> Give me a three fingers of disappointment. Uh, an artery blocker, a heart stopper, some cholesterol, starch, and some grease, probably. Uh, and go to bed on that on let that just settle on my stomach and get up and take a big old Kentucky offense scattered splattered I mean it's no other way around it but I'm Big Barney Ross uh, thanks for tuning in it's been a it's been a tough season to be a Kentucky Wildcat fan been tough for the last five years basketball and football baseball's doing pretty good so but uh, I will be doing the morning after pill tomorrow. Uh, 
it's going to be tough to swallow that. <laughs> Y'all think about it. I'm out of here.